Hello, victorious ones. How are you doing? I hope everyone is having an amazing, golden, victorious day in the Lord. So, victorious ones, I'm here to remind all of us that we have to sometimes zip our lips. In the Bible, there's a story about a, a priest. His name is Zachariah. And, you know, he was married to Elizabeth. They were both old and she was barren. So Gabriel showed up as the priest was doing his services in the temple. And, you know, the, the angel said, guess what? Your wife is getting ready to have a baby. And the priest was like, yeah, how's that going to happen? And so Gabriel is like, I stand in the presence of God. And I'm here to tell you the good news that your wife is getting ready to be pregnant at the due time, at the right season, in due season. And the priests began to question God's angel. Where they do that at, right? So he offended the angel. The angel was like, listen, because you did not believe, when it does happen, you're not going to be able to speak because I'm silencing your mouth right now. And so sometimes we speak against our own blessings, right? We have to learn to be quiet, be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. And that's for all of us. The angel shows up. You know, when Gabriel shows up, somebody's having a baby. Just ask Mary, right? <laughs> Just ask Elizabeth. And so Gabriel is there, and his name means God is my strength, and we know God's joy is our strength. When the angel shows up, God is getting ready to give you a breakthrough. Your response should be, let it be done unto me. Do I be like Mary? Lord, let your will be done and join in the excitement. Don't start talking crazy. Like, how is it going to happen? You know my wife is old and I'm old and you know she's bearing. God does not care about our limitations. He's able to do the impossible. What he wants for us to do is have faith. And so when God say he's going to do it, we should be like, yeah, that's right. My God can do it. My God is going to do it. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all I can ever ask or imagine. Imagine we have to have faith and not speak against the word of God. And so the angel did it. When Zechariah left the temple, the people saw him and he was doing sign language. And they saw that he had seen a vision or something and he wasn't able to speak. And then God did it. At that Kairos moment, the appointed time, due season, Elizabeth had a baby. Mm -hmm. Well, she got pregnant. And she went into seclusion for five months. And then she gave birth to John the Baptist. Why? God had to close the mouth of her husband. Be quiet and only speak what thus saith the Lord on repeat in the name of Jesus. That the life were in the power of your tongue. 